Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, what is the EA actually cooking up right now on this game? Yesterday, we saw greats of the game icons inside of an icon player pick. Might be one of the most expensive that we've had in ages. And today we're talking about more icons being released soon that are the same greats of the game cards, but not just any icons, some of the biggest names and some of the biggest icons that are on this game. We got to talk about that today and the new player picks that should be coming today will hopefully save the menu grind and the craft in this game because we have a good 84 times 10. We just need a good player pick to pair up with that. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's SBC content. We already talked about and mentioned that 91 plus icon pick. But before we get there, let's talk about a player SBC that kind of confuses me because this SBC for Sobosly was literally dropped two hours before Hungary played in their last game of the Euros as they did not advance in the competition with the result. Four playstyle pluses, five star skills. It is a very nice card. That's kind of the, I mean, good part about this SBC. He's not going to get any more upgrades, which confuses me. Why drop a live card inside of a live card promo that is two hours away when it was dropped of not getting any more upgrades since they didn't win, right? But if you look past that part, even though as confusing as it is, because this is a live card promo and the whole point is to do the card that gets upgrades hopefully down the line, right? I don't know. But at least the Super Slight does have the upgraded chemistry because he, of course, appeared in Hungary's Euro games. And it is a really good card for a really good price. So there's not a lot of complaints for me there. It's just like the whole point of this promo is live cards and upgrades. But bro literally can't get any more so besides that if this is a card that you want to use in your team right now the stats look amazing i mean 96 shooting 96 passing if you look at the in-game stats he's got dead ball plus with 99 curve and 99 free kick accuracy he's gonna have the best free kicks in the game his shooting looks amazing dribbling looks amazing even the pace i mean probably with an engine in this card you're looking at a center attacking mid that you could use through the rest of the game and not to mention that we've had four liverpool players dropped in this promo of course we just had the darwin as well so there's something to be said there about if you're a liverpool fan or if you want those links in your team very nice for that as well so i don't know i give that like a seven out of ten because yeah, it's a great card and it's a really good price, but at the same time, it's like, it's a live card. It's supposed to get upgrades, but he literally cannot. Now, we also had a showdown SBC yesterday as well. We're looking at Uruguay versus USA, which personally, I'm doing Joss Sargent because we got to add every USMNT player to my favorite US squad that we can. But I think this might be the worst showdown SBC that we have had of all the showdowns during kind of the Euros and the Copa America stint on this game. Nanda's card looks all right, but Slide Tackle Plus, Rapid Plus, and Relentless 4-Star, 5-Star with those stats, honestly, it's weird to say those stats are a little behind the curve at this point. He needs the plus two, right? A 93 rated card and he only has one face stat at 93, but he can play at center mid, center defensive mid, right mid. So if that's something that interests you, maybe you did Darwin Nunez, maybe you're Uruguayan, boom, that's a card for you. Same thing with Josh Sargent and the USA card here. He is five star week for four star skills. High, high. I know we all get Balogun in the season pass as well. So it's like, do we really need another USA striker? But it's a nice one. It's a fun one. And at least they are cheap. They're both um, about 60 to 70K for these. So no complaints there for the price. Just a little bit lackluster in terms of the cards, especially now since we're getting four play style plus players on the usual, like the Sobo Sly. These are more fun cards and less super meta now let's talk about the big spc guys the 91 plus icon player pick and i'm th i'm honestly a little bit confused here at the types of icons that they chose of course we have the greats of the game cards that are in here as well they said greats of the game team one icons which is a little bit of a hint maybe into the stuff that is coming this friday and the big leaks we're going to talk about in this video but along with greats of the game it's ultimate birthday and team of the year what happened to Future Stars and Golasso? Why are those not included in this? I don't know. Take out Team of the Years and Birthdays, in, or maybe keep the birthdays in, but I'm really confused as to why Golasso's are not. EA must not want to put Golasso icons in player picks as much. I don't know. But anyways, it's the greats of the games that we're interested in, of, cor of course, from this player pick. But EA's making us pay top dollar in 87, 88, and a 90 rated squad. I mean, a 90 rated squad was not on my bingo card yesterday for a part of the content that EA was going to be releasing. But again, what do we say often, right? If a SBC, especially when it's like a gamble pack or an upgrade pack like this or a player pick, the more expensive that it is, 
Usually that means the better weight there is on the pack and the better chance for big pulls. And I didn't see a ton of these open yesterday because if you do open this and you get like cooked, it is not good, right? Because you're talking about birthday icons and um, team of the year icons, which have some big name players. Like if you get team of the year R9, then great, you're happy. But if you're getting like a foot birthday, I don't know, somebody that's way behind the curve, then you're not very happy, right? So it's kind of go big or go home with this SBC. But a lot of people are doing it because of the chance of the greats of the game. And there only being three different types of icons in it. And it's a one of three. I mean, it does in one sense feel like one of the best in terms of hype icon player picks that we've had in ages just because you get those most up-to-date and live and upgrading icons but also on the other side it is so expensive at 300,000 coins now because that 90 rated squad is in there guess what's up anything that is 88 rated and above fodder wise is up pretty big 88s yesterday went from like 8,000 coins all the way up just shy of 10,000 coins i think the biggest price rises run the 89s 90s and 91s those are all now like 21 to 22,000 coins and if you look at harry kane's gold card yesterday he started i think it was 18k 18 17,000 coins of content went all the way up to now being 22,000 coins that a higher rated fodder that has just been like dormant in price for ages i guess i didn't really know that like 90s and 91s are the same price 92s are the same price as well that's mad right but we haven't needed all that high rated fodder because we have it because we have team of the seasons we have team of the season upgrade packs of course and we get these promo cards like from ptg and all the fodder that we're getting and even the player species i'm sure some of you guys are using some of these like cheap player species that you're crafting um maybe even some of the showdowns that you do and they don't get upgraded that you do for like one squad you're like ah it's a 93 rated card i can chuck that into an sbc so the demand for that high rated fodder is pretty low on the market i guess hence why the prices were so low but an sbc repeatable twice like this with the hype that it has is definitely making that stuff move and honestly fodder guys i still think the middle to low tier is going to rise up more throughout the rest of this week 85 still being under 4k is very very low so if you want to get invested there that's a decent shout 86 is as well we're going to have more upgrade packs coming today maybe another sort of player pick not like an 81 plus but you know 85 plus i hope they graduate us up to an 86 plus we've been having the 84 and the 85 plus now for ages hopefully they give us an 86 plus i just i still think some of that low tier fodder could be a good investment but that's the fodder situation on the market right now i guess actually let me check one quick thing before we move on what's the price of team of the weeks because yesterday they were like 42k what's the price update here probably higher maybe around the same looks like they're still right around 40,000 coins yeah okay there and then team of the seasons gotta check this because every single day it seems to go higher as ea refused to supply these cards team of the seasons are 50 wow 55 56k so slightly up there as well makes sense with that being required one time that icon player pick so that was the content yesterday of course not to forget but to also mention the daily login and the 84 times 10s i think i have an 84 10 that i just completed let's go rip it why not um I don't know. A lot of comments in yesterday's YouTube video were like, yeah, Nate, these 84 times 10s, I am getting fodder, but I'm not getting a lot of promo cards. That was kind of the vibe that I was getting. So I guess I just got really lucky yesterday packing that one promo card. But I love the consistency of the double walkouts. I think yesterday I went three for three on the double walkouts on the 84 tens. And there was one that I posted on Twitter where I got six walkouts, which was really mad. And then helped me do another squad of the Darwin SBC. But even in this one, I got two 87s, two 85s and 86. So I got three walkouts and then some 84s that will go rinsing back into that 84 10. So I have no complaints at all about the 84 10. That is holding the menu menus together right now in this game. Hopefully a player pick today can help that out as well. But before we do that, let's take a look at our daily upgrades, right? Only two cards at least for right now, have been upgraded based off of yesterday's games on Sunday. First of which is that Pushkas card with the goals that Hungary have scored in this tournament and the one goal yesterday. Pushkas goes to a 98 rated. He gets a plus one. What a card. I know that like nobody is there in the season yet, and I'm, pr I'm sure people will be getting there here pretty soon, but the upgrade that they gave Pushkas is honestly pretty interesting. It's plus ones all over, but notice this. He got plus two face stat physicality but he only got one inside of the uh, individual stats only one of them was plus two and it was plus two strength so really weird calculation there from ea not sure how that works but look at all the different 99s inside of this card he has 99 like in the entire shooting column he's got multiple and dribbling 
what an item this Pushkas is. So cannot wait till, is that level 40 or whatever, 35, whatever level it is. Can't wait till we get there and get this Pushkas card because he looks absolutely freaking mental. The only other card that was upgraded was Sazalai. Um, from the Bundesliga, also Hungarian. And I think we do have some pending upgrades because as I'm recording this video, the USA have won 2 0 over Bolivia. So that means that Tyler Adams um, and also Balogun inside of the season should be getting a plus one because they're PTGs. So those upgrades should be pushed out this morning, early on Monday, too. That's how it worked with the Argentine cards. Um, last week so hopefully that's when those get pushed out and then we're still awaiting the final score of the Uruguay game which let me check right now Uruguay is up 2-0 who scored the second goal oh my gosh Darwin Nunez finally hit the back of the net all right so we're going to get an upgrade or we're not going to get an upgrade for Darwin Nunez we'll just get the chemistry for that card thankfully man this guy had hit the post or completely put it wide so many times in this game I was watching the first half but he does get a goal which is um tracking towards his two goals or assist that he needs for the plus one overall upgrade which is nice because I was worried after watching him play in the first half I can't believe that he scored so that's crazy um, I even tweeted that he kept missing that's crazy he got a goal so that's nice for those who did the Darwin Nunez SBC and maybe more of a reason if you haven't to try to go and do it uh, but then also you have some other Uruguayan cards like Bentancor and Araujo that should be getting plus ones today as well as that is the first game for their chance for upgrades in the whole upgrade pack of Copa America. So there's those upgrades that should be coming earlier today on Monday sometime in the early hours. But I want to look forward into today as well on Monday because of course all these games are at the later time slot because it is the third and final match day of the Euros and that means we have teams playing for the spots to move on and to get out of the groups. We've got Croatia Italy which is a big game today. Croatia are at the bottom of the group right now and they're going to have to win today to get themselves a chance at getting out. They need the win, like honestly. Uh, if you look at Group B, Spain is on six points, Italy's on three, Albania and Croatia are both on one. Croatia are going to have to pull something off crazy today. Uh, they're going to have to beat Italy. That's their only way to get out. And then Italy, I mean, I guess they could draw two, and maybe they could get in as a third-place team, but who knows. Um, but Italy are not wanting to lose either to put themselves down at third place. So you got a lot of cards today that could be getting upgrades, of course. Make your mark cards with goals and assists. you got Di Natale for the goals, um, of course. And then you've got Chiesa. He's technically not playing for an upgrade because this would be Italy's second win. But in the Spain-Albania game, you I mean, technically Spain are like in almost, right? Guaranteed. I think they are, actually. But... This Pedri card, since Germany frauded yesterday, this Pedri could end up being the first um, Path to Glory card that gets a fourth playstyle plus based off of just him achieving the upgrade. And he's still extinct at 1.4 mil, which is absolutely crazy. But since Germany did not win yesterday, cards like Fulkrug and cards like Undav, you know what? I have not even checked Undav's price. How much is... This guy after yesterday, yeah, he's on the market. Okay, barely. He hasn't dropped off that much. But I'm sure Fulkrug has dropped. I actually want to look him up right now because he's been one of the most popular investments through this whole, oh my gosh, 180K. Yeah, selling in the hype was key. He was 230,000 coins yesterday, and now he's 180,000 coins. Sure, he still has chances to get upgraded. They're still in the competition. But again, it's kind of just like he didn't hit the upgrade that he could have hit because Germany did not win yesterday. So he is down in price but of course the games that are coming today be on the lookout for all these live cards this foot that gg tracker is the place to be watching this because it has it's the home for all the upgrades as you guys know this and if croatia do pull off a madness today watch this card gavardiol gavardiol would absolutely explode i bet sukara would go up as well for goals and maybe even this Thanos's card who knows but of course he's upgrading for clean sheets which is going to be tough for them against italy so the euro upgrades and kind of the hype around those cards is still alive and well for sure especially with those games coming today but i want to look into the future a little bit more speaking about these goals or greats of the game sorry icons we had big news yesterday in terms of leaks that on a Sunday, I was definitely not expecting to see. We're looking past the Make Your Mark promo, which I know for some of you guys, you're ready for this promo to be done. You're ready for it to be Friday and to have something else in here because this promo has just not been hitting. And I don't disagree with you. It's not been the best. Hopefully, some of today's content changes that for the grindability of the menus. But the excitement for the weekend is already starting to brew with these tweets right here. And especially more news of greats of the game icons added to this game. ASY Foot Trader, one of the leakers we look at a lot, 
posted yesterday said the next promo will include greats of the game icons and heroes and there's a lot of bombazo emojis in there right and of course right after that he leaked r9 r9 is added to come as a greats of the game icon he said ea is not holding back with the icons this is crazy like this is just the first of the three names that we have leaked right now that are absolutely bananas top tier greats of the game real true greats goats of the game they should the g and the gotg should be goats of the game right like look at this man that's crazy and now i know the first thing you're thinking is huh nate i'm never going to see that card well you know what that's what I thought last year when I saw R9, or I didn't see R9 until the end of the game. These are cards, honestly, when I look at this right now, this is an R9 that is going to be really expensive in the next week, and it's going to be insane. It's going to be hype. We're going to hopefully be able to pack them. Maybe one or two of them will be SBCs, and it'll be dope. But these are going to be the icon cards that will be released as SBCs at the end of like footies and uh you know towards the end of the stages of the year they're gonna get re-released back into packs i remember packing r9 last year and like you know the footies pack grind last year was honestly unreal the end game pv23 grind people will remember and it's gonna be tough to top that this year because it was so so good but i'm just seeing through this promo already and looking even ahead from here thinking that this is ea just dropping some of the biggest name icons on the game and these might be their last versions they're definitely going to have four place four play style pluses uh, but the thing is these are still live icons and i have so many questions if they're going to drop an r9 or a dino which is also leaked as a greatest greats of the game icon if they're dropping an r9 and a dino how are these cards going to be upgraded? Because these games are already going. Uh, Brazil, I think, play today or tomorrow. One of the next two days in Copa America. So by the time Friday hits, there will already be goals accounted for for these cards. I'm a little confused as to how these cards are going to be live and how that is going to work. But I did notice something just a bit ago as I was checking inside of some of these cards already that are greats of the game. Take a look at this Luis Hernandez card. If you look at the icon profile, it says that greats of the game player items are eligible for upgrades based on the form of their nation starting on the day of their release. Starting on the day of their release, guys. And that is different from all the other live cards like Path to Glories and Make Your Marks. These are all eligible from June 14th. Every single one of these cards, even Joao Neves, who was just dropped on Friday, right? All of his upgrades take place from the start of the Euros tournament which was June 14th and forward. So he was released after that. Everything up until that uh, time when he was dropped still counted if he played, which he did, right? So he got uh, the chemistry boost for that. Now with these icons, it is from the date that they are released. So if these cards are not getting released until Friday, that means that is they're not going to be upgraded at all. And they're going to have to obtain those upgrades through games played in the Euros or in Copa America after the date of Friday or on the date of Friday. That's kind of interesting. That's just something that I noticed that I don't think a lot of people are going to notice, but I wanted to mention that because I guess there's still a chance that some of these cards could get upgraded. And now actually it makes me rethink what I said about R9 and Dino maybe having four play style pluses because that means that still they would be in line for the fourth play style plus to be added on as a four goal achievement, that second upgrade for these cards. So Maybe a three-play style plus Dino is dropped and an R9 are dropped at first. But, of course, Brazil are probably going to score four goals. Even with less games, they're going to go further along in the tournament. They're probably going to get that goal threshold very easily. Uh, this Dino, by the way, is literally giving me flashbacks to the cover star Dino back at the end of the year last year. This is an SBC that was a lot of squads, 33 challenges, right? But it was mad. And this is a Dino card that so many people used. So it just feels like we're getting to that stage of the game where these are like the end game icons that EA is really starting to release. And oh, wait, there's more. Cruyff is also leaked as a great of the game icon card like wow i mean sure netherlands of course here as well upgrade potential still gonna have some goals i think after this week but it sounds like guys all these leakers like in this response tweet he says it's just getting started and under some of these other tweets these guys are always saying too that like you know it's just getting started this looks insane so I, there must be a lot of hype. I mean, when I look at these cards, I see three insane players, R9, Dino, and Cruyff, and also like a 0.0001% chance that I would ever pack one of them. But 
I don't know. These guys are saying that it looks really good. I'm sure some of them are going to be included in SBCs as well. My next question is, are there going to be heroes? My question after that is, is it just an icon slash hero promo or are there going to be other Euro and Copa America cards because we still have other promos to come like the Euro Stars and the Copa America Stars promo and then Team of the Tournament which you would think would run towards the end of the competitions maybe in July at some stage. So are we getting just icons and heroes and packs this Friday like the Golazo promo or is it going to be intertwined with some other sort of promo? So I have so many questions. Um, I'm sure we're going to have some answers soon, but it looks like we're going to have more leaks. And I would be expecting to see more players leaked uh, today on this game. And I, I guess that's also kind of confirmed with the SBC dropping yesterday for the player pick and saying um, that the greats of the game team won, right? Every time that we see a team one mentioned in this game, we know there's a team two that is going to be coming out as well. So I guess greats of the game team two are going to include some of those insane cards. So I don't know. I sold or I was in the process of selling the petite, as you saw. I wanted to just get out of this card because if they're going to drop new icons in the game, especially like an R9 and a Dino and a, um, a Cruyff, I think this Dalglish and this Rivaldo would probably be impacted the most. Maybe even Haji, because there's been so few of these brand new icons. I feel like some of these, of course, because they're live too, are just very inflated in price. I still am starting to feel like that for the whole market, even the regular PTGs, especially as we get out of the group stages and into the other parts of the competition. I'm feeling like especially this card at 7 milli, that's up there. Dalglish at 4.2, that's up there, especially as... You know, he still could get upgrades, but, you know, uh, yeah, it's you're getting towards the end of the upgrade path on a lot of these icons. And some of them, like Balak and others, have already got all of their upgrades that they can get. So I'm just a little bit worried. If you have any of those top tier cards, be a little bit careful with those. But I guess we're going to wait for more leaks. But from a first leaking standpoint and seeing everything that was leaked yesterday and talked about, it's kind of like a shock, like, wow, that's crazy. All those big icons. Okay, EA. We're listening. Let's see what's going to happen, I guess, this Friday. So we'll be watching for all the leaks and information to come out on that. But let's talk about today because that stuff doesn't come today. But what will, right? We need something today that can save the menu grind because the last week with these 81 plus player picks have not been it. And I know that the pack weight is not going to change magically today. And it's going to be like, oh my goodness, Nate, an 82 plus player pick is going to completely save the menu grind, right? Theoretically, it'll help, but it's probably not going to save it entirely right because that was the one thing we loved about ptg is that these cards were actually packable it felt like you had a chance to get them these not so much but with an 82 plus player pick if it re-releases today that doesn't require as many non-rares or as many golds it'll make the menu grind a lot better you can rinse through a lot more player picks get more fodder do more player sbcs a lot easier especially with the 84 times 10 so i'm looking for this to go away today and hopefully the good old 82 plus with the same requirements as before to come back in and then also for an other upgrade player pick today please give us an 86 plus ea i know we had the 85 plus we've had the 84 plus it's time to graduate let's go to the 86 plus i hope that they drop that today as well we'll be watching out for that very very closely and seeing what else they drop and then we still have an outstanding list of player SBCs. Um, of course, we can cross Soboslai off the list. So no Nunez, Soboslai, or Eustachio, I think is how you say his name. Um, so those guys have already been dropped. But Gabriel, Montiel, Gray, Sinistera, and Pacho. We're still looking for these two, Gabriel and Montiel. So one of those, hopefully, is today. Um, maybe one of the other guys would be as well. I think we have, what, four days left this week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So they're going to have to double up. I bet we see two of these on one day, probably like Sinistera and Pacho later on in the week or something like that. So watch out for Gabriel or Montiel today. That could make some things move, and it could be another live card with a lot of interest, especially with Copa America games being in full swing. So yeah, that's kind of the state of my account. I'm excited to get on the game today, grind it out a little bit because I have not been doing too much in the menus over the last day or two. Just taking some time to rest a little bit um, and watch a little bit of the footy. But I'm excited to grind some 84 times 10s today. I have some champs games to play, which I'm not super excited for that, but we'll get it done. And hopefully we get a new player pick today. Also coins wise, I am like pretty liquid. I still have the Julian Alvarez's and yeah, see, I was disconnected, not even think about the middle stats. Bro is down. Speaking of the Germany cards that are down, he went from like 80K to 60K. So we're a little cooked there, but it is what it is. I only have four. I still have the Julian Alvarez's for 690 and he's like 800K. So that's a card I feel pretty confident in holding, but the rest of this stuff, you know what? I was just kind of like 
let's get out of it. Let me just sell these cards. I th I am think I do think I am just going to sell this petite here for like 20, 30 K profit and just get it out because I don't want to be messing around with any of these icons, especially with any of the leaks that are going around right now. Um, and yeah, I'm still pretty confident about PTGs, but I'm going to be careful and sell a couple of those. I'm just holding on to the Alvarez right now. We got more games today. Oh, this Uruguay match finished three, one. Okay. D Nunez did not assist the second goal, but they did not get a clean sheet. So I don't know if that, if that does not affect, um, I don't think that affects any Uruguayans because everybody else was just a midfielder or attacker, unless I'm forgetting that. But um, we got more games today, upgrades on the line, and hopefully some good player picks that drop today on this game as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today, and have a great freaking Monday. Catch you guys there. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Peace out.